question, guys. Who was that dude who said, forgive me, Lady Yuna, just before this? Who was that? It, it was a Keenock. Maybe it was uh, one of the random gods who has a question or something. I don't know. Anyway, guys, um, Yuna's going to be by herself for just a few seconds. Make sure you win the stone proof because there are some uh, lizards here. Your first mission is to get to your party members. Note that if you're doing a no spear grid, uh, you need to put invading counter on her weapon and fight back with Aeons until you get to your party members. And Lulu's the closest one. Lulu. Hi. It's okay, I know. Fortunately, I reached Lulu before I encountered any random encounters, which is just a plus for me. But Mr. Seward, you will usually fight a monster before you get to, to one of your party members. And I find it very convenient that there's a white magic sphere right by Lulu. The game is telling you, hey guys, give this to Lulu ASAP. Teach her a cure, teach her life, do something. Of course, I'm playing this version, so that's not necessarily needed. I'll save that for like Holy or Haste to God, something like that. Okay, which way were we going again, Lulu baby? Bio, I remember now I was taking Lulu down her grid so she can learn the level 3 black magic spells and teach them Yuna. Speaking of which, guys, if you haven't used, um, if, if you haven't in some form or another taught Yuna at least the level 2 black magic spells by this point, you need to do that. Like, take these, um, black magic spheres and teach her at least. At least Fire Ra and Thunder Guy. Thunder Guy for the muscles down here, and Fire Ra for the muscles uh, coming up on the high bridge. Alright, these guys. It's too bad Walker isn't around. But Lulu can handle them, they'll be to fire. Alright, I just wanted to uh, get to Lulu. Now, before I continue, let me go down here. Now, this is what I was talking about. Alexa, nice. Let me just heal up. You're going to be doing this a lot until I get to Orin and Kamari. Let's just touch this thing right here. What that does is it activates one of those teleport things. When you're doing this and you switch cameras, I'm still holding down, but I'm going up. Yeah, right here. Good. That'll take care of my ambushing problem. Anyway, guys, I was saying, this is what I was talking about. You see this? I'm still holding the down button. Now, I let go it down, and I press it again, now I'm going, this, see, that, that, that gets very, very annoying on this level, when you're, when you're, when you're changing camera angles, like this, and you get, ugh, I, I can't, I can't stand that, that is so annoying. See, now I gotta press, just, ugh, boy. Anyway, Kamara's over here. I wanted to get to Lulu first, cause, you know, Kamara's still kinda on the level a little bit. And just in case you, that's why you want the stone proof because because of these bastards. And just in case you guys were wondering how, uh, let me kill you first. Just in case you guys are wondering, uh, no, you, I can't kill you. Damn it all. You don't have to actually find all of your party members. You can uh, c complete this without finding any of them, but. I'm wondering what will happen if you, uh, well, y you have to have Orin with you, because Orin is right by the door, so you have to have Orin. I guess that that's because he tells Asabu your pilgrimage is over, but I don't think you have to find Lulu or Kamari.
and Uni has some serious catching up to do. But don't worry, that will be taken care of on the next episode, I can assure you. Four magic points for Lulu, baby. Alrighty. What was that? Oh yeah, Kamari Ronso. Let's just go this way. I don't think there's anything down here. No, that's a dead end. And here's our pal Kamari. Alright. Yuna, sorry we left you alone. No. It's okay. What are you apologizing for? Everything that's happened is Yuna's fault. Everything we're going through right now is because Yuna thought Seymour was a good guy. And we're going this way now. Here's our pal Orin. Uh, damn it! See that? That see that? That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. I can't stand when that happens. Ooh. Okay, let me just save the game. At this point, I can go ahead and get the fuck out of here and fight the boss, if you can call it a boss because he sucks. But there's a few things here I want to do first. Now that I got all three of my party members, I can do a little exploring. You know something guys, to this day I will never, ever, ever understand this execution. Okay, they throw you in a dungeon and leave you there to fight monsters. The same monsters that we've already killed before with all of your weapons and equipment. What kind of execution is this? This is not execution. In Final Fantasy VIII, they take all your weapons and Zell had to get them back because he fights with his fists. In this game, they point a gun in your back and then they throw you in the pool. With a hot girl. And I don't want to hear the excuse about, well, they didn't want to be violent. Because if you remember in Final Fantasy X-2, they pretty much assassinated Lin and Shuyin. With guns. Without a second thought. That, my friends, was execution. And why am I doing Thunder on the Lizards? Well, he died, he died in a way. It way I'm going in a big circle here. Anyway, now that this thing is active, you can use it to teleport throughout the level. That's not the way I wanted to go. Let me just step back on it, wait for the arrow to point that way. Let's go back. You have to stand on it when when an arrow is pointing in a certain direction in order to go that way. This is where I want to go. I want to go in here. There's a chest here. Let's get that. Black Magic Sphere. Again, in case you didn't get the overkill or you or you got a red drop, make sure you give that to you if you need to. Stepping on this causes the one that we just used to move to a different location in the in the uh, cave. There it goes. All right, I will go over there in just a minute. But for ah! In the way, as I was saying, I will go down there in just a minute. There's something I want to do first. There is a... There's a chest around here somewhere that has some money and I forgot exactly where it is. If I can't remember that means it must not be a whole lot. Or maybe I'm thinking of another game or another level. Something I don't know. Swamp Matter Effect. There's a must I haven't shown yet. 
But just by looking at it, you can already tell there's nothing that Orin can't handle. And I do believe that's every random encounter in, well, not every random encounter, but every monster on this level. So I will continue to edit them out until I get to the boss. I think this is that spot I was talking about. There's a, no, there's some money around here somewhere. But like I said, if, if I can't remember, it, it must not be a whole lot. Get these fucking lizards out here first. Anyway, let's continue. Let's just step on this now when it's facing that way. And there's some goodies in here to pick up. Here we have a lucid ring. Not that I'm going to use it, but I can probably sell that damn thing. A skill sphere. And this is the chest I was talking about. It came back to me. This one. It's kind of hard to see. But there's 10,000 gear there. I, I knew there was some money hidden somewhere on this level. I knew I wasn't going crazy. But you're mainly coming in here for the skill sphere. Save that for quick hit. All right, we got that out of the way. That's every item in this level. I, I think if I miss something, please post it in the comments. It has been a while since I did this, but I will. Let's just save the game. And there's something I want to hear Orin say before I continue. I hate this place. <laughs> By the time, it, I, it's, I swear, it took me about, what, 20 minutes to get him to say that. Uh, that's what I wanted to hear. Uh, now, like I said, guys, I don't know everything about this game. You notice how sometimes in battle they'll like say like specific quotes and stuff like that. Some of them are triggered by doing certain things, but I think most of them are completely random. Is there like a certain number of times that I need to battle in order to get Orin to say that or whatever? How exactly does that work? Oh well, I guess it's just completely random. And by the way guys, uh, at this point you will only fight these guys. If you haven't done so by now, it might not be a bad idea to steal at least, what is it, about maybe eight of these fish scales. So you can make two water strikes. That'll definitely come in handy for the upcoming level. And those lava water things are the only monsters that you're going to fight in this uh, red corridor. So let's just go ahead and skip it for now. Let's see, overdrive. Yuna, it's already full. So no point in me changing overdrive mode. Let me just power up a little bit so she can do more damage. Alright, four more magic points. Well, three anyway. Right on time. And let's do this. Up ah! Another one of these. Ashley, how many of those do I have? I need to see how many I got b before I leave. Not that it matters because uh, I can get some more upcoming. And to this day, I still don't understand how the fuck we take damage by getting hit by water. It's water, man. Come on. I can see if Leviathan was, was throwing a tidal wave at me or something like that. But come on. Don't know why he did that. It's not going to make any difference. Just die, please. Did Yuna get that? No, she didn't. Oh. Anyways, I was trying to say, let's do this. Lady Yuna, so it is you. Why are you here? We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. 
Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. You will fight us? The Temple's orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. His guardians, I don't see them. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Mine. Apparently, this guy did a grand summon because, as you see, his ifrit starts out at full overdrive. That kind of sucks balls, doesn't it? Yeah, whatever. Okay, as you see by now, this is definitely a contest of aeons. My aeons versus his aeons. Your party members cannot help you. So, if your unit is on a level, you might have some trouble here. Psych. Just kidding. Uh, the purpose of this battle is to, you know, keep your aeons up to speed, of course. But, uh, why'd I do that? I wasted a turn. In all honesty, guys, this guy completely sucks. And if you do a no speed grid game, you will see that. You see, for those of you who don't know this, and I didn't learn this until doing my no speed grid game, your Aeons automatically gain some strength throughout the game, even if you don't level up Yuna a single bit. It's still nothing compared to how they would be if you do level her up, but they still gain some strength later on in the game. With that said, even if you make it to this guy without raising Yuna's stats a single point, you can still take this guy out with, without the slightest difficulty. I mean, he, he, he just completely, utterly sucks. How can this guy possibly expect to be seen? I mean, he sucks major balls. Overkill. That's one down, two to go. Which is another thing that doesn't make sense. Okay, it's his Aeons against mine, right? Okay, the dude summons Ifrit, Valifor, and Bahamut. If Mimi serves me, we met this guy in Jose, right? So why the fuck does he summon Ixion? I told you, this is my favorite game. But I do indeed acknowledge all the flaws it has. It's not over yet. You sure? All right, nothing hard about this one either. You should be able to kill all of them. Except for Ifrit, of course, before they get to the overdrive, because Ifrit starts in overdrive mode. And even if they do get to the overdrive, just shield it. It'll it'll barely do uh, a couple hundred damage, if if that. I mean, seriously, I told you this this guy sucks. Anyway, and I am not using a shield. Oh no, this is very bad. This is very, very, very bad. Or not. I mean, come on. His old job did 300 damage, and I didn't even block it. That, that. Overkill. I, I, I mean, come on, seriously. I, 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 I just think that they should have made this just a little more challenging. But don't worry, guys. You get your challenge in the Dark Aeons. Some of you will, and some of you won't. And 
and in all honesty, his last Aeon, which doesn't make any sense, is actually the easiest one. Bahamut. When you see this guy, you're gonna be like, oh fuck, I'm in trouble. I cannot let you pass. Until you realize the huge flaw this guy has in his strategy. Yes, I grant summoned. This guy would do absolutely nothing, nothing, but just sit there, and sit there, and sit there, and count down to make a flare. And you can kill him long before that happens. And even if you don't, just shield it, it'll do like what, four or five hundred at best. Count down four. Count down three. I'm gonna make sure that I overkill him with the, with the what's the name? Don't know why I'm doing this because it um, countdown two. Okay, I'll just show you. Countdown one. Ah, uh, fuck this. Overkill. Don't be fooled, guys. Drop a hummus is going to be much, much harder than that. <laughs> and I had, I had such a fun time fighting and drop a hummus with my Shiva in my no speaker game. That was fun and very challenging. Indeed it is, and that is the last you will see of that guy until 10-2. You will not see that guy again until 10-2. Unless there's another place in this game that I don't know about, but oh well. Anyway, we're not out of this hell yet. What about Titus Wake and Riku? Okay, the first thing I'm going to do for Titus is I'm going to put on this um, thing right here. Because uh, there are two muscles here who are actually shielded, and Titus doesn't have the, uh, what's the name on, the, the piercing. Waka, I'm going to use the stone touch. And for Riku, I'm going to put on this thing to prevent ambush, because these guys do hit pretty hard for, for this point in the game. Ojo mode, Slayer, Slayer, Slayer. Let me just take a look at this fig grid here. Okay, there's a little a shop here. Somehow this treasure chest has a unlimited supply of all these items. I don't need them, so let's not waste any time. Let's just get a move on. No point in me saving the game now, because there's another save sphere coming up real soon. Ah, ah, damn. There's that camera, there's that camera problem I told you about again. Just a few fish here. Tita should be able to handle them. And he can, overkill. Riku, baby, you just steal for now. Fish scales, nice, I need those. Walker, try to stone this bastard here. Damn it all. Yeah, these uh, octopuses here have, have that, that, that armor thing where you need piercing to, you know, damage them. Which is the only reason why I'm using stone touch. Of course, I've got Riku, so that's kind of relevant. Let's see here. I can damage this guy with smoke bombs. Put him in darkness. I swear. If I get this bastard down to his, his last two hit points, and then he suddenly decides to die, I'm not going to be happy. There he goes. There he goes. 
Riku is so sexy when she's underwater. I love it. All right, damn, camera. Come on. Let's go. All right. There's two more monsters on this level I need to show. After that, I'll just go ahead and get to the boss because there's really no point in me wasting any time down here. And there's one of them right there. They, too, have um, fish scales or is it dragon scales? Of course, when you attack these bastards, they charge up. Even if you steal from them, actually anything you do will, will, will cause them to charge up. Dragon scales, nice, nice, nice. I need those. Any attack after that, after they charge twice, any attack after that will cause them to uh, do this. There we go. Do this, this wave thing that does do a lot of damage. Let me just go ahead and show it to you. I got to show you for the noobs. So you know... What you in for here? Let me just have Tidus and Walker defend. I have Riku still, so I can show you what I'm talking about here. Charging. Oh, was it? Was it? Was it three times? Or was it four times? Oh, okay. I remember. It's, it's been such a long time since I did. It, I forgot exactly how it works. Sonic Wave. Okay. After they charge three times, then their next attack is Sonic Wave. Okay, I, I was, I, it's been such a long time since I did this. Actually, it ain't been as long time since I did this. It's been a long time since I actually let them use it. Okay, there's one more monster here I need to show. Just wait till I bring it out. And there it is, a giant fish, two of them. Let's get this thing out here first. Let me just kill him. Okay, he's gone. These guys too have dragon scales. Nice. That'll be a nice way for Rika to attack until she gets her strength up, which won't take very long, fortunately. And why am I not, why am I not using my overdrives? I mean, why? Seriously. Come on now. I've got to get better at that. Die. Thank you. Filet anybody? Yoink. Defend. Give me a stone touch, please. There we go. Yeah, that TKO is definitely very, very helpful. Especially no speed grid. Okie dokie, guys. That's all the monsters. And normally I will feel Riga's old drive before a boss fight, but this boss is just ridiculously, ridiculously easy that there's actually no point in doing it. So, let me just, uh... Nah, I'll save later. No point in saving now. All right. Oh no, it's Evra, he's back. I thought we all killed this thing. How did he come back? Actually, guys, he's a zombie. Yeah. Um. There's like this this trick command to move the gates or open the gates. I don't know what it's for. In all honesty, I, I don't know why it's there. You can steal a water gem from, from this guy if you need these. Just thought I'd note that. Uh. Since he is indeed a zombie. You know what that means, right? Phoenix down. A Phoenix down does exactly half of his health. He counterattacks anything you do. Usually when he takes a turn, he does stone gaze. Just thought I'd show you that. But like I said, this guy is incredibly easy. Two Phoenix downs and he's dead. But first, let me uh, see if I can steal another... Steal some more water gems first. Can I steal anything? Oh, what the hell? Let, let me let me end this. I ain't got time for this. Just die, please. 
I think his first attack is always Stone Gaze. I'm not sure. I can't remember if he does anything else because it's been such a long time since I actually let, let the guy attack. But, you know. Two fins downs and he's gone. Really, really easy. In fact, that makes him so easy that some people uh, forbid that in no spig games. Because if you try to be, if you try to beat that guy in no spig red without throwing X potions or um, or fins downs at it, you might have some trouble. All right, guys, and that's gonna do it for today. But first, going down here, there's a rematch for Walker, which is definitely not bad. It all Mackie comes with evade encounter. I wish it had at least one free slot so I could put water strike so I could put a uh, water strike on it, but it doesn't. If you go further up here, there's another chest on the ground. This one contains a counter taffetitis, but we already got that. All right, that's gonna do it for today. We'll see you later. Take it easy. Why is this corridor so fucking long?